What's going on, everybody? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you guys with another NASCAR Authentics Diecast review. And this is actually going to be on a truck diecast I picked up at my local Target for um, my newest What's the Stores video. If you guys did check that out, go on and check it out because we're reviewing a car from the 2021 NASCAR Authentics Wave 2. And um, yeah, so I said truck, so it's either going to be Chase Elliott or Grant Infigure. So go ahead, place your bets down below. You got a few seconds. Let's see who's going to win the big money. Today it is on. The finger, and by that I mean Grant Infigure's 2020 champion. No, not the actual truck champion. I'm talking about um, his sponsor, Champion Generators, wherever the hell it's called. Champion Power Equipment. Um, Daytona Truck Race Win. Uh, Ford F-150 for Thor Sports uh, Racing. This is a beautiful die cast, guys. Like I said, I picked up at Target. And yeah, the second time we got a Grant Infigure truck released. And what can I say? This is beautiful, guys. I mean, I know we're going to have to be doing a comparison of this car and actually do a side-by-side -side on another race version that came out that, uh, yeah, uh, that will go great with this set. But that was also released in NASCAR Authentics Wave from last year. But let's go ahead and let's look at the back right here as that is the rest of the wave. It's all race wins, which is pretty damn cool. I do like that a lot. Second time that Lionel has done that for a full wave. Anyways, let's go ahead, go ahead and unbox this uh, beautiful looking uh, champion truck. And let's take a close look at the Grand and Bigger Daytona Race to Win. Alrighty, guys, we got this die cast out of its box. And before we get these started on this die cast review, let's look at the uh, free accessory that comes with that. And I literally almost about knocked my camera over. Holy crap. Uh, let's go ahead and fix that because we don't want to go kamikaze on this freaking on the, on this camera. And by that, I mean my phone. I mean, goodness gracious. Uh, yeah, notes to self, never ever harm your die cast or your cameras when you do die cast reviews. So, yeah. But here is the uh, free trading card that comes with this with Grant Infigure's uh, half-cut body. Kind of disturbing right there. But Grant Infigure, definitely uh, pretty happy that he was able to get that Daytona win. Really cool right there. Um and yeah, Thorsport, man, Thorsport definitely seems like they know how to win these uh, Super Speedway races now since we know Ben Rhodes won the uh, 2021 race. So is that going to be a good hint of what that uh, what our next uh, truck race win will be? Well, knowing Lionel, we'll probably won't know until later in the year. And there's a rest. Uh, if you guys want to see that, all that information. Goodness gracious, that guy looks like he's having a good time. Stone out of his goddamn mind. <laughs> or talking in mid-sentence when they took that photo. Goodness gracious. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Hey, look at that guy. That is a that is a face of a champion right there. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, look at that guy. It's a margin of victory. That is how close this was, guys. Holy Christ, man. So anyways, back to the die cast. As I think we spent a little too much time on that card, but heck, that card that was definitely had some humorous moments. This is a beautiful die cast, guys. I absolutely love the metallic silver that this car has. Um, truck, truck. It's a truck. Oh, Christ. Oh, Lord. Well, I probably should say that. There's a freaking Bible right there. Um, poor choice of words right there, Brian. But yeah, that is actually a Bible uh, verse right there. Uh, I thought that was actually like a confetti, but I was like, that's too big for a confetti piece. Uh, that was actually on the on the truck when that uh, was in Victory Lane. So, cool attention to detail. But as you see right there, that is not a camera pod, guys. That is a freaking paint ship. Oh, Jesus. Here we go with these paint chips, man. Um, as you can see, we got uh, the eight pillars pretty much screwed up, too, as well. Um, this, is there a, yeah, there is a weird outline. You see right here where the Kenji's are. There's like a weird dark outline where the silver is. Oh, typical Lionel racing quality. You got to love it. Even for an exclusive truck, guys. Um, oh, my God. Look how bad this window's sticking out, dude. Holy crap. Look at that. It just sticks out like a freaking old, like a sore thumb. Look at that uh, freaking detailed interior we got. Um, it's a shame because, my God, it, the insides of this die cast look nice, but the outsides, whoo, decal code, quality control could definitely use some work. Then again, I'm not surprised, right? Yeah, this is a cool die cast, guys. I do like the, uh, you know, the, we got the two different types of finishes we got right here with the glossy uh, uh, dandelion yellow, and then we got uh, the metallic silver finish to it, which all the Thor Sport trucks were running at Daytona. I think they were for, what, like, for a few races? Um... Let's see here, we got powering your life. I guess your life depends on, uh, you know, power equipment made by a champion. <laughs> you got the Ford and the mean-looking Ford F1 grill. I mean, that's new. Up well, not really new anymore, but that is the updated F150 um, grill, which we'll begin to add a second. Be like, oh, it, it's updated? I didn't even notice. Got a paint bubble right there. Absolutely beautiful job, Lionel. Um, 
One thing I do not like about the Thor Sport diecast, I wish I understand this is part of their logo, but just goodness gracious, as much as I love Dayglo Yellow, Dayglo Yellow does not belong in these cars. It doesn't. I understand it's your team logo, but like, come on, dude, make it black or something. Just, I, I don't know. That, that just doesn't look right. But you see, this B post is completely cluttered with uh, logos. I mean, definitely, uh, they used a lot of space on that. So, I mean, it's um, a surprise with lying nails and quality control. Like, none of these decals are overlapping. Well, they kind of are a little bit, but hey, whatever. Got a nice little uh, transition in the stripes right here. I kind of like that, how it's just fading away. But as you can definitely see, this thing is quite dirty. It is definitely dirty. I mean, so it's definitely um, really raced up. Do you like all that dirt right there? Not really much going on in the front, but you see we do got a nice little uh, mark right here. Because, um, yeah, uh, as you guys know, the uh, these Daytona races, man, they definitely get interesting. I will say that. Um, oh, my God, the shark fin's even loose. Look at this, man. Well, not shark fin, but... Holy, what the hell? This thing's not even intact. You guys look at this shit. This thing's not even intact. Holy crap. That's unsafe, NASCAR. Or, I mean, Lionel. That thing, that thing is lit. Look, look at that. You see where the rivet is and where that's supposed to snap in? That's not even snapped in. I mean, do, I'm afraid to do that because I feel like I'm going to break it because, after all, it is plastic. But, goodness gracious, man. I've never seen anything like that. Look at that. Look at that gap. Oh, my God. Uh, for the freaking uh, support bracket. Wow, and I thought there's always something new to look when it comes to these uh, $5 quality cars. But on the back, we got some more champion. We got uh, for work, for home, for play. For work, for home, for play. Well, I guess those are the three things you can use with, you know, the champion. Um, every time I see champion, I just want to see champion spark plugs. But because, uh, you know, that's the mechanic side talking to me. But we got lots and lots of build up right here on the back bumper uh, with the 98. But um, cool little detail we got right here with the uh, with the spoiler right here with the little uh, with the with these little uh, rivets and tethers we got that's pretty nice. Then we got K ninety two point three. Uh, I'm gonna talk like a radio voice guy now. K ninety two point three Orlando's number one for new country. <laughs> uh, I don't know how good that was, but uh, heck, I guess I. Uh, I guess I give myself an E for effort for that, but there's, uh, I, 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 that's one of the things I like about these trucks, man. I mean, as you can see, we do not have the name banners on the back, because this is a gold series. But look how bad that is, guys. Oh, Christ, is this thing slanted, too? Oh, my God, the bracket is literally slanted. What the fuck? <laughs> dude, I, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, my God, dude, look at that. You even see that the other ribbons are sticking out. This thing literally about to come off. Oh my god! I tell you what, that would make for one hell of a good rant review. I tell you what, but I, I'm not in a rant review. To, I'm not in a rant mood today. But goodness gracious, I know what to watch out for. I mean, look at that. That is intact. This ain't. I mean, that is just bad, dude. Holy sheep shit. <laughs> Oh, Lionel, I was so excited when you released these trucks, but now the quality control is starting to catch up, and uh, yeah. That is bad. Luckily, this side doesn't look too bad. I stand corrected. A freaking snake or a vampire or something just literally went to town underneath the A post yet again. And we got a paint chip on the B post, too. That's a shame because we're about to get to the good side right here. And you can see right here, lots of good shit on this uh, Grand Infigure truck. This is actually uh, the side where he uh, made contact with Jordan Anderson towards the start-finish line. To battle off, uh, probably what, like, it was the closest, I believe it was the closest truck race finish that we've had at Daytona or overall in the series. But you see, we got more of these. But the paint scheme is pretty much similar to Johnny Sauter's uh, Tenda heel car. Uh, I just love saying that word. Tenda. <laughs> like, Tenda and the meat. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Really cool looking die cast, guys. I do like this one a lot. But now time to show you guys, you know, the... I guess you could say this is what the finish was right here. Uh, well, like, in figure and... Um, it's not going to be exactly perfect. Be like, oh, you're like, what, like... You're like, what, like, one centimeter off, Brian? Like, that's not accurate. This is pretty much how it was. Pretty damn close. But you can see where, you know, that, that, that donut mark matches up with this one right here. I mean, these two definitely went at it. And then, at the end of the day, shoo, Grand figure got it done. Which, you know, a lot of people were kind of upset because they wanted Jordan Anderson to win. Because, you know, Jordan Anderson is a pretty... Uh, well noticeable driver in the NASCAR community thanks to you know Eric Eastep's out of the groove um but yeah now I'm time, time, time to start the side-by-side -side comparison of the other Grand Infigure truck and uh yeah this die cast uh definitely um it doesn't have it does as you can see right here uh, I'm showing you guys the one that was released in the 2019 wave 9 which has more of a matte finish to it 
but you definitely see what I mean by the uh, up. Uh, it does have. Uh, I don't know. I mean, yeah, both these actually do have the updated uh, Ford logos, but this one uh, definitely has a lot more detail to it. I mean, I don't know. Both of them look the same, but just, I don't know. I, I do see a lot more detail and a lot more black in uh, the 2020 variant. But still, it's pretty cool. I do, I do like uh, different, uh, not only different sponsors, but also, you know, different variations of paint schemes. And this one right here looks pretty nice. But feel free to comment below which Grant and Figure truck you think it looks better. The 2019, uh, the, the 2019 car or the 2020 Daytona win. But both are exclusive. They are, are exclusive in the 164 scale for NASCAR Authentics. And you can only get them in those two waves for wave nine of, you know, wave, uh, 2020, 2021 wave two and... Uh, the 2019 at Wave 9. But anyways, guys, comment, like, subscribe, and this has been OBB, the Diecast News Guy. Thank you for watching this Diecast review of the Grand and Figure 2020. Whoa, we just zoomed in too close on that champion truck. <laughs> Grand and Figure 2020 champion Daytona truck race win. Ford F-150 for Thor Sport. Um, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time on another Diecast review. And uh, yeah, go ahead and check out K92.3, Orlando's number one for new country. But um dum. -dum.